For 41 years, Scott Hannon has been a part of Winona Area Public Schools. This week, he sets off on a new career path, retirement. Those 41 years don't include the 13 years Hannon spent in the district as a student. He talked about what it was like to come back to teach and eventually lead District 861. I went to Lincoln Elementary, then Central Junior High, and then the, the high school. Now I call that the old high school. And uh, I never got into this school until I came over here as the uh, uh, activity or academic affairs director. And uh, um, so I was in the last graduating class of the high school down on Broadway. But golly, to, uh, to all of a sudden be teaching in the, in the school that I went to, you know, all of a sudden I was teaching at the junior high. and and teaching with, with some of the folks that I had as a teacher. And then uh, 12 years later, all of a sudden, I was the, the uh, assistant principal, and a few years after that, the principal, again, with people that I'd had taught me when I was a student. Um, so I think you, you, you learn a lot from that, that you need to get along with people, you need to see people for what they do and what they are and who they are. Um, you know, all of a sudden, going from a, a student sitting in a classroom and 15 years later, whatever, you're uh, 20, whatever it was, you're all of a sudden the person's supervisor, you know, and, and they've got a lot of experience. So I think I've always relied on the people that uh, were older than me, more experienced than me. His tenure in the district has not been without challenges, the biggest being a declining enrollment and the closing of district buildings. Ben Hannon believes the district continues to offer plenty of educational choices for Winona's students. You know, there's a lot of choice in Winona. People like choice, and I think that's maybe one of the big things that I've, I've felt more so in this job than, than some of the other things is that um, people do want choice. Ten years ago, I would have said, no, I don't think we need choice in, in the public schools because I think we're doing a lot of good things, which we are in all our schools. But when you have the faith-based choices, when you've got the charter school choices, and even homeschooling, uh, those are all options for parents to uh, have their kids educated. So... It, what can Winona do to, to make it more inviting? You know, you hire good people because they're going to be there after you're gone and to carry on the mission of the district. And, and uh, so there's been there's been material things like buildings or you know the the, the Coulter uh, uh, remodeling here. The high school is is certainly a neat thing and. And it was nice to have my hands in, in part of that, but it wouldn't happen if Dick Coulter wouldn't have left us the money, you know. And, and uh, you know, it's things like that, that that come along that that you make the best, I think, best decisions for kids about. So, what does the future hold for Dr. Scott Hannon? There's things that I've been putting off doing that I, that I'm interested in in re re getting into and spending more time on. That uh, you know, when you're in in any type of administrative job, in particular in education, you spend a lot of extra time than this. It's not a 40 hour a week job and you know teaching itself is not a 40 hour a week job. There's more time. When you get into administration all of a sudden your weekend time and more of your evening time is taken up and you know, I just want to get a little time for myself and my wife and the dog and see my son and his wife a few times and get out and hunt a little bit and, and those sorts of things. Dr. Hannon, we thank you for your contributions to education in Winona and we wish you well in your future endeavors.